Hey there everybody, Kopiki here. Welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2. In the last episode, we managed to complete all of the Winnie the Pooh world, and now we got ourselves a second little lock key, because uh, apparently it actually counts. But you notice that the little thing is still spiraling around constantly. Well, there's actually one more thing that we need to do here, but it's not unlocked yet until we end up completing Pride Lands. Or either that, or we have to also complete Atlantica. Anyways, unlike the Pry Lands first visit, we now get to deal with the unique storyline of the Pry Lands. So, let's jump on in. Oh, it's you guys. Man, we were hoping you were a meal. Hiya. Don't give me any of that higher stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba! <laughs> Simba! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Go on then. See for yourself. Simba is one wishy washy king. Yeah, I bet about now even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, let's go find Simba and see. Scar? Huh? A ghost? We better tell Simba about this. Wonder if he's up there. So you can already see where the plot is going with this second visit of Pride Lands. Apparently there seems to be a Scar's ghost running around and we need to take care of him. So we're gonna actually switch to Decisive Pumpkin for two reasons. One, because combo finisher, and two, we have ourselves a mini boss that's gonna be pretty annoying. Yo, what is the ups in Nala? Or actually, are you Nala? I can't even tell. Well, actually no, you're not Nala. The reason as to why it's like an omen like that could only be foretelling the end of our pride, yet King Simba won't do a thing. I guess just being the son of the great King Mufasa doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to rule the kingdom himself. Trust me, Simba will think of something. The time for thinking is past. We need him to take action. As his father would have done, he ruled with courage and pride. I remember it like it was yesterday, the mighty Mufasa. So we'll do all that too, you'll see. I'm not so sure. Wait here, I want to talk to Simba. I mean, to be fair, he's not like his father at all. Like, if he's trying to be like his father, he's kind of doing it wrong. You came back. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Hey Simba. Why don't we team up and do something about that Scar Ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it. So, now's your big chance to show him what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Sorry. It's okay. I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. And that means the important thing is what you're gonna do being the king, not what your father would have done. So you're saying it's all up to me? See? There you go. Exactly! Yep, yep, yep. We know your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today! And find your own path! 
live for today and find my own path, not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. <laughs> Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. Great, now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost. Yes, and now we have learned running tackle, which is kind of a very interesting ability that we can just go ahead and just run and use the dash attack. I'm gonna say this now, um, this is the first time I'm probably ever gonna to do this. Oh, it doesn't even matter anyways, because he's not gonna have a lot of defense regardless. Ah, oh, boy. Anyways, you hold the square button and you end up using a spin attack. Actually, before we end up leaving, I'm not sure if they'll allow us to do this. Yeah, okay, we can. Alright, so this is the peak area. This area has been completely nerfed. Do you want... <laughs> It's so laughable that they give you that one enemy and then he just it's literally the only enemy so all right so this area used to sport the best grinding spot in the entire game but now it just sports this one little uh, storm rider looking dude and that's it not storm rider the eagle thing I forgot the name but yeah in the original Kingdom Hearts 2, there used to be a bunch of those enemies all surrounded in like the pattern in like in Land of Dragons and whatnot. And you would what you will do is you will end up getting like half health as you know, basically critical Sora. Use experience boost and kind of spam those guys to heaven and back. So yeah, you can't do that anymore because they decided to get rid of it. I don't know why they decided to get rid of it, to be perfectly honest. It's the weirdest final mix change I don't really like. And it kind of makes it a lot harder to grind for levels. Mind you, you never really need to grind for levels in Kingdom Hearts 2 at all. But for Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix, however, eh, you might need a little bit of levels just so you can survive. Even though you can complete this game in level 1. And we have seen many videos that has managed to showcase the abilities of defeating anything in level 1 mode. Anyways, Rafiki, tell me what's the news. Oh, the king. He's ready to be king. I think so. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Oh yes, the ghost. A being with no body is created then the evil of Heart of Skull. Meets the hesitation, Heart of Simba. Hesitating? Ooh, you thought you were not. Gorsh, that gorsh, that gorsh? Okay, that ghost sounds like just like a heartless. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, you kind of right, because it kind of does feel like that it's, you know... And it's upsetting the heart of everybody in the Pride Lands. You may not know what it is, but it still is. The world is full of many things, and these things a king must face. It is the test that has been set for you, Simba. That's all? Come on. You have to tell us more about the ghost. No, not today. Look, I'm telling you that you need to kick the crap out of the ghost yourself and stop being a punk. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. In its head, perhaps. But what about his heart? That's a good point. Forget it, Sora. Let's head to the elephant graveyard. I mean, yeah, I know the dude tells riddles, but I think he's probably telling the truth. I kind of wish that Sora can go in his drive mode in this game, but he fortunately can't. All right, so throughout the second visit of Pride Lands, this Scar's ghost is going to be chasing you throughout. It's kind of similar to the Shadow Sora in um, Neverland. Also, I'm going the wrong way. Perfect. Why does it attack me and not attack Simba? You know what? I don't even know. I don't even know. Also, if you're probably wondering, yes, this area will become, uh, will have a purpose. It doesn't have a purpose now. Whoa. How you? Ah, come on. Can't you guys just leave us alone? Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? Huh? 
Scar's ghost. <laughs> Maybe. You do know. Here's a speedrunner's nightmare. We have to chase after Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. So the way how you can be able to do this a bit easily is by using Magnera to be able to go ahead and hold him in place and then kind of kick the crap out of him. Problem is though, is that when you actually end up combo finishing them twice, they kind of do end up running away from you. But you can always just end up using Magnera to go ahead and hold them in place. Some of them ends up having more health than others. Some of them does not. I don't know which one I'm hitting and nor do I care. I unfortunately do not remember most of the hyenas in the Lion King, so do not even bother to even ask. Don't know which one is which. All I know is that each and every single one of them needs to die all the same. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I do love the fact that I think that Simba's icon is literally just the same from KH1, but I'm not entirely sure. I would laugh if I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be surprised if it is, because so let's be honest, it's kind of, uh, it kind of, it's kind of insane. Yo, can you stop? Okay, well that was a waste of my friggin' Magnera. Hey, you guys are both together. Also, that is a very small elephant graveyard thing, by the way. That thing used to be huge. We are small boys, but that's okay. So, I guess while we're doing this, chasing after these guys, um, my feelings for Pride Lands being inside K um, Kingdom Hearts 2. I have to admit, it is kind of odd. And I can understand why it's one of the worlds that you do not have to do. It's very optional, which is so weird to say that a world is optional because this world, unfortunately, has like no bearings to the plot whatsoever. Like there's no memories of Kyrie in this. There's no, um, there's no life lesson. The only life lesson is, is that um, Simba gets courageous and that's it. I mean, this probably is a life lesson. I, I think like the first visit, the life lesson was that, you know, your friends would never forget you and such even if you grow apart. So I guess there's that. But overall, in terms of uh, progression of the plot, eh, not so much. I mean, it's, it's, it's still weird that both Atlantica and this world are two worlds that you do not have to actually do. And, of course, we've already, I think we've already said it before, my Chain of Memories LP, where the reason as to why Tarzan's world is not in here is mainly because of the fact that it was, um, it was hit with a copyright problem. Or, it was hit with something that they kind of had to remove it from the world. Regardless, though, it didn't even matter anyways, because the villains themselves even were saying, like, you know, Nomura is a sly fox by basically saying, like, you know what? Let's have the villains go in and say, why did the Heartless actually visit that world? And like, you know what? You're right. Why did they visit that world? That place was by far the most peaceful place ever until Clayton decided to be like, oh, I want to get the gorillas. And it's like, all right, dude, you need to calm down. And that's it. Oh, no. I guess you caught us all. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Scar's ghost. Sorry, we don't know nothing. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. That's the one that only hangs out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king? Why, you must be a truly inspiring ruler by now. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. Where are you going? Ah, Simba, running away as always. Simba! <laughs> Gorge, Rafiki was right. You mean, Simba's still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm... We should start by talking to Simba some more. Let's head back to the Pride Lands. Meanwhile, back at the Pride Lands... Yo, what's going down, guys? What's going down, fam? Also, Timon and Puma, you guys didn't even come with us. I don't even understand. <laughs> Where's Simba? Well, 
Uh, oh, he ran away. I knew he would not be easy. For, it would not be easy for him to face his fears. He must go somewhere where the only thing to think of it is what to do, not what others think. Face your fears. <gasps> The song that we get in Cage 3, which I won't be able to play because of copyright. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously, I, you know, talking about future games or whatever, I fear when people actually end up playing Melody of Memories on, on um, their YouTube channel. Like, because the thing is, is like, all right, I'm going to be like out of the mix for a bit. It's so odd because of the fact that Hollow Bastion gets content ID'd. Obviously, I know this is Halloween is going to get it, too, because that, that technically is an original theme. But why is it also inconsistent? Because I had one episode that was like 50 minutes and that one, I'm going the wrong way. Anyways, that one had the Hollow Bastion theme and it didn't get hit. So I'm like thinking to myself, I was like, why does the short one get hit and then the long one doesn't get hit? I don't understand that. Like, there, like half of the minutes is just that theme playing. So it makes me so confused. Um, but whatever. In all honesty, I am super looking forward to Melody and Memories. It's not going to be part of this because I'm trying to avoid like the games that I'm kind of trying to avoid the games that don't really have um, actual gameplay in it. So, you know. Father. Hmm. It seems even your daddy has abandoned you. How sad. Now, okay, so I should be a little bit more clarification. Um, I don't want to play uh, Melody of Memories because it's more so going to be focused on cutscenes. And I'm pretty sure whatever the next Kingdom Hearts game is, I can go ahead and probably end up going into detail. Rhythm games, I feel I'm not going to really play so much. So let me actually introduce what happens if you end up defeating Scar's Ghost. That's essentially what happens. You kill him, and he kind of ends up just disappearing. Kind of traditional, just like how you did with Shadow Sora, where he just ends up disappearing. Unlike Shadow Sora, though, you don't really get a whole lot of experience, which is a damn shame. But hey, what are you going to do? So yeah. Uh, Melody of Memories will not be on this channel. Might be on a live stream though, so I guess that will technically be a substitute. Hopefully I don't end up getting like curb stomped with that, but we'll see what happens. It's no use. I'll never be the king my father was. But Simba, that's not what you're supposed to be. You can't be Mufasa. You can only be you. Everybody believes in you as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if anyone's saying they liked your father better, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. I can't. Fine. Let's go, Sora. Yeah. Why stick around if he's not even gonna try? Come on, Goofy. <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. King Shamanagaga. Worried by a silly old ghost. Ooh, Simba, the do-nothing king. No! Try and stop me! <gasps> you did it! The ghost is gone! We knew you could do it! Hooray for Simba! You know, I'm really lucky to have friends who stand by me and help me see clearly. My father wasn't so fortunate. There you go again. I mean, everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Pumbaa, Timon, Rafiki, Nala. 
You all want what's best for me. But my father always had Scar lurking behind his back, trying to cut him down. I've got to make the most of my blessings and rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna say it or do it? Wait and see. Simba! <laughs> Simba, come quick! There's a bazillion ghosts of Scar haunting the Pride Lands. Everybody but Nala hightailed it out of there. And now she needs your help. Uh, our little Simba, all grown up and finding his place in the world. Nice try. You're coming too. We're here. Where's Simba? <sighs> I've come back, Nala. Get out. Way to go, Simba! Are you with me? Now and forever, your majesty. All right. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so it is actually time for us to end up fighting a boss that is very super difficult. But um kind of very annoying. Actually, funny enough, this used to be the favorable boss for a lot of people when the game first when Kingdom Hearts 2 first came out. The only reason why it was very favorable because it was very big and gigantic. Now I'm gonna warn you, Donald and Goofy are not in this fight. It's just you and Simba. Don't bother giving Simba any items because he's gonna waste all of those like nothing else. And cause he's also going to spend the majority on the floor. And I'm not even lying. You think I'm kidding? But anyways, it's time for us to fight Ground Shaker. Oh boy. And now it is time to fight the, the Malice of Scar, the beast of the, all the beasts, and the reason as to why this place is a barren wasteland. Say hello to Ground Shaker! Now, Ground Shaker, he ends up starting out the fight where you have to go ahead and hit the triangle button. Do not go ahead and try to time these properly because it's just going to end up getting you hit. Ground Shaker does a lot of damage, and it's actually a two part fight. He has the, obviously, the Ground Shaker boss himself and the Shaman. So, it's technically a two-parter fight. And it's a very interesting fight, I must say. And, uh, you know, your models may vary if you like this kind of fight. I don't mind this fight, but it's very finicky to fight this thing. Like, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Like, it's super finicky. So when the ground shaker ends up stopping, your main fight is this dude right here. When you end up hitting him, his face will end up coming apart and you have to hit the mask. It's so weird though that you have to actually hit the mask. I kind of like the thing that this is kind of like the, um, a jungle book kind of boss. After a certain amount of hits, it will go back into the, um, go back into the ground shaker and end up uh, possessing it again. And then, you know, you have to go in and do the same exact thing. After a certain bit, it will end up um, throwing up fire attacks at you, and uh, you know, you're just gonna have to deal with that. So, as I stated before, do not go ahead and end up recovering your MP during MP's charge. You will hate yourself if you do. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. The reason as to why Simba is kind of like useless in this fight is mainly because of the fact that he kind of can't really do a whole lot, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But what are you gonna do? Anyways, what the hell is he? Oh, there he is. What is he doing? Oh, doggy. All right, cool. 
And now we're at the final phase of the fight. And this final phase is a bit difficult because you're not hitting the beast this time. You have to do the finishing blow against the shaman because the shaman is the actual boss and not the ground shaker himself. Don't even know if the shaman even has a name. It's kind of odd that the ground shaker is not, this is not the, um, the mastermind. The real mastermind is actually the thing up top. But, eh, what are you gonna do? That's Kingdom Hearts for you. Kingdom Hearts be weird, yo. Just trying to do enough damage so that way when we actually get to the top, I can be able to kill him. At this point, however, the Shaman is gonna start doing very annoying combo attacks, turning invincible, and end up doing, um, friggin' JoJo memes. I cannot see him. But he does end up coming back out, and then he ends up sporting a lot of electricity. So you already know what kind of, what abilities we are going to be getting from this dude. As he ends up doing his little Jojo attack. His order, 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 order. Anyways. Whoa, okay. Whoa, calm it down, buddy. Do not bother to use thunder. It is not effective and because he is immune to it. So do not even bother. And, oh my god. I hate the fact that you gotta do a combo finisher to kill bosses. It's pretty gosh darn annoying. Seriously, it's like literally the most annoying aspect of Kingdom Hearts 2 I do not like. Can I please get him, please? Oh my god, thank you. Jesus. And that was Ground Shaker. Unless that's not even his name and I've just been pronouncing his name wrong. Yeah, we'll find out. Simba seems fine now. Ha! The king has returned. The Pride Lands will not forget King Simba's courage, or the courage of those who fought beside him. Do you think your quest will ever be over? I don't know. But I think, as long as the Keyblade stays with me, I'll have to keep fighting. Ah. The struggle never ends. That is the great circle of life. Never ever? The secret to victory is a strong heart. Go on, go on, go, go then. <laughs> go on, get out. Yes, yes, it is time your fight continues. Till we meet again, your majesty. I hope that's soon. It will be. So long. I don't know, but the way how the series is turning right now, I don't think we're going to meet any of you Disney characters anymore. Let me be real. Uh, all right, and completing Pride Lands ends up unlocking the second visit to Hollow Bastion. Or I should say the third visit, because we kind of already visited the first time, so we're visiting it a third time. First time, second time, whatever. You know what I mean. But we're not going to go there yet. We have ourselves a world that we have to end up visiting because I am dumb. <laughs> so... In the next episode of Kingdom Hearts 2, hope you guys are looking forward to it because we are about to go to Melody of Memories Beta Edition. So, I will see you guys next time. Laters!